Friends, so in this lesson, we are going to do um, how to farm up a text truth and text script and what's in the more car hook and few specified text script to run. And I will share you about the mobile selector value, accessibility ID, and the first script click on the login icon. Um, so I think it will be a little long, so I will separate two lessons. So the first lesson should be farm up a text truth and the running hook with more car framework and the second thing that is specify the test script to run so in the next lesson we will learn how to do the mobile selector value like accessibility id and we can run first script <clears throat> so to form up a new test script with more car just open uh, um, the shortcut that you created and then you right click and then you new uh, javascript file and in this case, you can name it at uh, uh, play with mocha. And the first uh, keyword that you need to understand that the keyword describe in mocha. So the describe means that you are going to create a test uh, and basically it will be for a feature so uh, in this feature we are naming it like the account that means we are testing for the account feature here something like that and the first parameter will be a string that describes about your feature testing like a test suit. so the square keyword will be a test suit and the second parameter will be a callback function <clears throat> uh, the second keyword that is it the second keyword that is it uh, it here and the first the first parameter is a string and the second parameter is a callback function like the cry and it here that means uh it stands for a test script so for example it shows um it's just um paying out something bring out um hello world something like that <clears throat> so this is the test case okay so it does mean it's specified for a test case and so this right here is a specifying for a test specifying for a test use here and we have specified in for a test use uh, by the keyword with sprite and you specify a test case by it uh, keyword so we already have uh, two parameter the first par parameter is a string to describe our uh, test use or a, a test case and the second is a callback function something like that now we need to run something now by using the console log here and i will run something like hello world okay and we need to run the test case so how how can we how can we tell web driver io and the mocha framework that we want to run this test case so we open the test config here and you can see that we has uh, we need to specify another attribute the property that is best and a spec is a, an array here and you will include on of the test script here you want to run so in this case i want to run in from the short or you just symbol to click and copy back and pass from the content root here So we specify uh, at the same level with the text configuration file that we need to run the play, play with small card or CS here. And it will execute this text case for us. Okay. So uh, let's try to run. But before running, we need to we need to start the IPM server first because we need to communicate with the app server so in this case we don't need to do anything um, 
on the device, yes, but um, just need uh, just need to share with you the step um, in the net lesson that we need to run that we need to start the server first. So try to so <coughs> try to start the server by using the command appium. And by default, if you start your appium on the port um, for 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 seven through three. But in this case, because I already start in another server session, so let me just try to start it first. And you can see it's now stuck on the local hot <clears throat> and the port 4723 here. Uh, the second step that you go back to your packet position here and you try to replace the existing uh, string value here in the test script test you see by WDIO. Uh, WDIO. That means every time when I run npm test, it will look at the bucket dot session and it will run the web driver IO test runner. So we just specify npm test and we run we run the test configuration file that the test configs. Up. I need to switch to um, I need to switch to the um, the directory because I'm 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 now on the wrong directory. So just go to that directory. So we specify a command like npm test. That means we call the web driver IO runner from the node module we already installed and then we skip the command run and we specify the text configuration file here. Test config.cn and we run the test. So we can see that it will skill and we will have something like hello world. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we need to come back to the configuration. Oh, we are missing capability. We are missing the capability to run it. Um, okay. Uh, because I don't want to place with the real device right now. So that's why I did specify the capability. But let's see how can we work around for this situation. So just go back to your tech configuration file here and you specify another property like the capability here and it's an array. Okay. And you put an object here, an array and an object inside. So we will try to copy the capability in the previous session here. And we put this inside here. So we have a platform Android uh, automation test name is UI Automator Tool and the UTID that's the device connected to your machine. Uh, so you need to start your uh, emulator first. And the app packet that web, web driver IO packet and the app activity that is the main activity. So in this test case, we don't need to we don't need to interact with the real device yet. First, because uh, it's required by web driver IO that we need to send a capability. So anyway, so we just need to specify those parameters to run the test. So after you run the test, it will uh, in this uh, a session to the APM server here, you see, and it will connect with <clears throat> the APM server to send the capability and APM server will try to launch your device. Let me open the visual application and you can see the device screen right now. Here, it's a device screen, RPM open it, but because we didn't do anything with the application, so the 
the text just done automatically right now and we see the hello world from the, the text script so just in summary we have described to specify for a text source for a cow feature you may have a user source format so uh, so show error uh, when missing email something like that and you have a, another test case like uh, just uh, just create uh, an account successfully here and we have uh, another test case here something like that and we have a second test script second test case and this is the first test case okay so that's it, the first tech case and this is the second tech case. So I'm going to share you about the mocha hook. So we have the before. The first thing that's here, the before hook. Up. So the before hook, uh, we just have only one parameter is a callback function and in this callback function it will do before every single test case inside so for example I view console log something like this is before the source before the before all test cases and we have the after as well in the same context after you do uh, you do after every single test case here so we have a callback function and I will print out something like after all test cases here so it doesn't matter about the order for example if you put the before and the after hook the after hook um, on top on top of uh, on top of every single test case here is still execute after uh, all the test cases here so let's run it again now it's still come the case with the appium server and the appium server will try to open your uh, application And then look at the console log here. We have <clears throat> before on test case that is executed from the before hook. And the first test case, the second test case, and the after all test case. So we have the before hook and the, the after hook. So I want to share you two, two more hooks that the uh, before it and after it. So before it, what's it before it? Before it is the um, a function, a, a hook that view that view execute before every single test case. So let me bring out something like before is test case, and we also have the after it. And I will print out something like after is test case for you <clears throat> so let's try to run this again And now we can see on the console log here uh, before all test cases, before each test case. I'm, I'm sorry for the noise around from my daughter laying around. Hopefully, you can still hear my voice clearly. So, we have the before all test cases will be executed. And we have the before each test case hook. And then, first test case, after each test case, and then before each test case again. And then the second test case executed, and then after it's test cases, and 
The last one will be after all test cases that is executed from the after hook here. So the the mocha hook itself, the, the name itself can 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 tell you what is it before that will execute before all of the test cases. And after will be uh, after all the test cases for before it's, it's will execute before its test case and after it's it will execute it after uh, its test case. So we are now successfully run a test case, simple test case with Mocha framework and we know the Mocha hook, how it works. And in the next lesson, we will actually play in with the application um, um, with APM, uh, inspect the element and interact with the, uh, the screen element uh, from the next lesson. But it's very important for you to understand how to form up a test use, a test case with Mocha framework. And you put the tag in the tag configuration file, you need to specify two more properties. The first property that is best, this is an array, and you need to specify a list of test case that you want to run. In this case, it's a play with Mocha.cs. And the second property is very important because web driver I or require you to specify a capability because we send to the FEM server that's the capabilities. So a capability is an array itself and actually we can have uh, more than one capability. You can uh, uh, the numerous here. So we will specify the platform name, the automation name, a UDID from the device, device UDID, the app bucket and the app activity that I already shared with you from previous session. And the next step, you need to start the APM server by using the command APM, uh, APM like that. If you want to specify another box, just hyphen P and you will specify the box from uh, four, three, uh, through five. So pay attention. Don't do with the part four, seven, two, four because they are internal part that IBM will communicate uh, internally. So you don't need to use that part from. So you need to do the part four, 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 forty-seven and uh, twenty-three or from forty-seven, twenty-five. So you don't need to use the. 47 and 24 box, okay? So just pay attention uh, for that. If you don't want to change the APM box by default, just try to run APM and it will start for you the APM on the box 47, 23, okay? And then you can run the test. So how to run the test in the bucket dot season, you try to replace the existing test value by web driver IO, WG IO here. And then you do what? You specify a uh, command npm test. So when you execute npm test, if you look at the script in the packet dot session and it will call the web driver IO module, that's already installed here inside. Okay. And it will try to get the web driver IO command line tool from the thing here and it will execute. Execute what you need to run and you the run option and you specify the location of your tag configuration. In this case, it's the tag config uh, file here. <clears throat> okay, and then you run it. That's it. So from the next lesson, you will try to have some something to interact with the application, like how to click on the login button, um, how to click on the web view, the form, the why something like that, and uh, the mobile selector. So see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.